And now I'd like to invite three students who have participated in another great junior achievement of British Columbia program. The junior entrepreneurship sponsor tonight is Phillips, Hager, and North. By participating in JA's company program, these students have learned how to develop and launch their very own business. We invite them to share the highlights now. Thank you, Ms. Brink, for the warm introduction. And hello, everyone. My name is Jay Mander. I'm a grade 12 student at Gladstone Secondary and CEO of WAFT. I'm proud to be joined up here today by my VPs of Sales and Finance, who you will be hearing from shortly. WAFT originated from the JA Company Program. Behind me, I have a photo of our 13 students and four mentors. We met weekly at the beautiful new Telus Gardens building. We are here today to tell you about our company and how we developed our business plan. First, we had to determine our market. We chose to target the high school student market because we had credibility and existing relationships with them. Through this targeting phase, we identified a need that hadn't been addressed yet, smelly lockers. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thus, we developed a solution that would fill this niche market, organic, handmade, and environmentally friendly air fresheners. As the company and profits grew, we decided to expand the use of our air fresheners to freshen up the cars, bedrooms, washrooms, workplaces, and gym lockers of our young and adult customers. Now, I'd like to pass it up over to my VP of Sales, who you may be interested to know was recently selected to the BC Business Top 30 Under 30. Ms. Angela Wang, everyone. Thank you, Jay. My name is Angela Wang, and I'm a grade 11 student at West Point Gray Academy. We capitalized our business by selling stock at $30 per share for a total capitalization of $480. We used this capital to manufacture 400 units of our products and directed the balance to marketing and sales strategies. For distribution, our team established online presences on Facebook and Instagram. Knowing students needed volunteer hours, we collaborated with school business clubs to sell our products. We've also sold at retail stores and craft fairs. We faced some challenges, but found solutions. For example, we displayed our products at an organic grocery store where we sold out in only two hours. We were able to rush more stock to the store to address this issue. In addition, our team experienced product quality issues. We discovered a quality issue in our vanilla scented products and had to reproduce the entire inventory. We managed to do this with zero disruptions to our supply chain and sales efforts. Now I'd like to pass it on to our VP of Finance. Thank you, Angela. Good evening, my name is Tina and I'm a grade 11 student from RC Palmer Secondary School. I now like to review the financials with you. Here are some top line components of the P&L. Our air fresheners sell for $5 a piece. The cost of goods is $1.61, producing a gross margin of 68%. <laughs> After selling out of our inventory, we made a profit of $1,206. As a company, we decided to donate 10% of our profits to Create Change, a Canadian charity. Even after this donation, we provided our shareholders with a 157% return on investment. Yes, we are taking on investors. Just approach one of us after the gala. The JA Company Program absolutely changed our lives and has given us direction for our futures. We were provided with an eye-opening experience into the inner workings of a company. And through this, um, we now know what we want to pursue in the future. So thank you for your investments in us. Thank you.